this week. This week was huge for PSVR fans, not only with a free demo of the upcoming PlayStation VR exclusive Fract hitting the PlayStation Store, but also the announcement that the game will be launching next month. The standard edition will hit the PlayStation Store on August 20th for $30, but if you want to play three days early, the deluxe edition will release on August 17th for $35, and both versions have a 10% discount if you pre-order. <laughs> Tarzan VR dropped on the PlayStation Store pretty unexpectedly earlier this week, and while it contains all three chapters of the game, there are a ton of issues, ranging from weird game glitches to audio problems to controls and beyond. I honestly didn't find it to be a total waste of time, but Tarzan VR still needs a ton of patches and a price drop before this two-hour experience should even be on your radar. Rhythm and Bullets was another surprise drop this week. It's a bullet hell shooter where your move controllers are ships that need to fire the right color attack at the right color enemies. The difficulty ramps up fast, and even though the resolution and frame rate are about as high as the PlayStation VR headset can even display, the backgrounds and gameplay are a little less inspired. But for $10, it's not a bad diversion. Rhythm and Okay, we all know I'm not the biggest Squishies fan out there, but Wind Wind, the newest game by Elliot VR, takes the Squishies formula and makes it charming and kind of pretty too. Your goal is to blow the two main characters around the map, taking advantage of their unique skills to help them work together to get to the exit. I'm only a few levels into Wind Wind at this point, but expect a full review sometime soon. Stranded in a barren landscape, you are the only being capable of mastering the ancient art of growing vegetation, journey across the steps to discover landmarks left behind from a previous time, uncover their secrets in order to unlock new equipment and gather ancient dormant seed varieties, find the perfect conditions to plant them in, and you'll witness magnificent trees grow to maturity and transform the landscape. everything tidy while you were away. I love this place. It's remarkable. Indeed Magnet VR is a puzzle adventure where each hand controls one magnetic pole, positive and negative. You use your hands to interact with the objects in the environment, following basic rules of physics and magnetism. Opposites attract, but the same poles repel. There are a variety of magnetic objects like boxes, barriers, propulsors, etc. And each puzzle is built by combining these objects in real physics rules to create new mechanics.
Neon Hat is a single player racing game set in a neon world and features an original synthwave soundtrack where you play as a hat operator, competing in the fastest and most prestigious net races to climb through the global leaderboards and obtain the best score while also shooting down the most dangerous enemies in cyberspace. If this sounds like your cup of tea, then get ready. Neon Hat is launching exclusively on PlayStation VR this Thursday, July 29th. The highly anticipated PSVR port of Synth Riders, which was supposed to be out this Tuesday, unfortunately suffered a last minute delay. The team at Cluj Interactive tweeted earlier this week, we are very disappointed, but sadly we have to delay the launch of Synth Riders for PlayStation VR. It's an unavoidable last minute issue with the distribution that's outside our control. There's currently no new release date, but hopefully it won't take too long to get all this sorted out. I think we've got incoming. Be on your guard. Sadly, the delay of Synth Riders wasn't the only VR game that suffered a setback this week. Developer Vertigo Games delivered a fairly lengthy apology when they delayed After the Fall to a fairly vague later in 2021 release window. But what it boils down to is, simply put, After the Fall is really ambitious and the team wants to deliver on all VR platforms as simultaneously as possible and deliver a smooth cross-platform multiplayer experience. They'll be sharing more details about launch in the coming months. Die! Welcome back, Agent. Now that you've recovered from your last mission, it's time to get back into the field. The PlayStation blog posted an article this week that details a bit more of what we should expect from I Expect You to Die 2, The Spy and the Liar. The biggest thing being the inclusion of six missions right from the get-go, up from the four that the original launched with. Expect this one to launch on August 24th for $25, with a 10% discount if you decide to pre-order. If you want to keep the world safe, in this time, Agent, you must be ready for anything. We've been waiting for some big updates for Albo ever since launch, and it looks like quite a few of them are on the way. Expected in early August, we'll be getting a nighttime version of the town map, a brand new factory map, and a ton of quality of life upgrades, like a new progression system, two-handed tracking for rifles when using the move controllers, improved networking, and hey, new hand models. Somewhere a little down the road, we'll also be getting two more maps shown here, and of course, the long-awaited zombie mode. Jackane and Loiter outside some of the most iconic video store environments faithfully recreated from our fading memories. Pick a tape and choose whether to watch in a living room or movie theater themed room. And if you don't want to watch movies but you want to meet others who share the same passion, explore the surrounding area or hang out in the parking lot or take a night drive around the neighborhood. Details on exactly how the last video store will work or what streaming services it'll work with aren't currently known, but expect to hear some more details soon.
this week. week.